Hello friends, welcome to the wonderful world of Chinese characters. I am Encius. Today I'm going to tell you the legend of how Chinese characters were created. According to legend, they were invented by a man named Cang Jie, who had four eyes and four pupils. It is also said that when he invented these characters, the deities and ghosts cried and the sky rained millet. This was around 2700 BC and the emperor at the time, Huang Di, the yellow emperor, had become fed up with the only method of recording information available, not tying. So he enlisted his historian, Cang Jie, to develop a writing system. Cang Jie sat down at a riverbank and devoted himself to the task. But after much time and effort, Cang Jie was unable to come up with a single character. Then, one day, Cang Jie saw a phoenix flying overhead, which had an object in his beak. The object then fell and landed in front of Cang Jie, and he discovered the object to be an impression of a footprint. Sure, why not? But Cang Jie could not recognize what animal the footprint was from, so he asked a hunter passing by on the road. The hunter said that without a doubt, this was the footprint of an animal called a Pishu, which has a print like no other creature. A Pishu is a Chinese mythical hybrid creature, a sort of winged lion, which eats silver and gold. So it's considered an auspicious animal since it can attract fortune. Anyway, this conversation with the hunter greatly inspired Cang Jie. He realized that since the footprint of the Pishu is unlike that of any other beast, everything on Earth must have a unique characteristic that sets it apart from everything else. If he could capture the distinguishing characteristics in the form of a pictograph of everything in the world, he would have the foundation for a writing system. From that day forward, Cang Jie paid great attention to everything around him, including the sun, moon, stars, clouds, ocean, as well as all manner of bird and beast. He created characters according to what made these things unique, and before long he had compiled a long list of characters to present to the emperor, who of course was very pleased, and the premiers of all the provinces dedicated temples to Cang Jie. Well that's all for today, see you next time friends!